You know, when me and my brother were young, I had to threaten him with blackmail in order to get him to do whatever I want. But nowadays, since we're grown up, all I had to do was give him a couple bucks and then he'll just go fetch whatever I want. So I told him, uh, since he's going out shopping, I gave him some money and I told him to go look for some new geoguns for me. And lo and behold, he came up with a few things. Uh, one of these things I'm gonna do for you guys today is show you off Chaos Arachnia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Arachnia, Arachnia, I I don't know. Uh, Arach Chaos Arachnia is a Wave 2 Geogon, another Wave 2 uh, Geogon that's uh, been found in stores lately. Uh, I wanted him to get me like a set of these Wave 2 Geoguns because I read a comment that says that told me to uh, review more of the Wave 2 Geoguns. Uh, I've unfortunately read it, so I'm like. Uh, okay, I guess I'll try, but I can't promise uh, that uh, Geoguns will uh, be found. But lo and behold, my brother actually found a few. And uh, one of them I'm gonna share is Arachnia, which is, I think this is Leah's Geogon? Uh, I, that's just based on the uh, dra uh, Geoforce Dragonoid that was uh, leaked out. That's gonna be like the huge uh, capstone toy for Geogon Rising. And Arachnia is one of the parts. So I think this might be Leah's Geogon, but I'm not 100% sure on it. But uh, yeah, Chaos uh, uh, Arachnia, he does look pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna open this up and let's share the experience together, shall we? Wow, it came clean off Not like Hyenix. All right, so Arachnia, he's uh, pretty cool in all honesty. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, uh, spider, human spider or something like that. Uh, I don't know, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, his le the legs are translucent. Uh, it's got a pretty cool design. It kind of looks like uh, I don't know my legacy traps that well because I stopped playing when traps came out. But I think one of the tra I think it's inspired by uh, that one trap, Dynamo. I think it's called. I think it's called Dynamo. Is it Di is it Dynamo? It is Dynamo. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. Arach uh, Arachnia looks uh, looks exactly like Dynamo. I'm, I don't intend to use Arachnia, but you know, uh, so maybe Chad could use it. But I was hoping maybe uh, uh, maybe Chad could use Titan King. Uh, yeah. Uh, Arachnia. You just here's the gate card that comes with it. Uh, pretty. Uh, it's pretty cool. Very cool artwork, I, I gotta say. That uh, the art, uh, the artwork uh, for these gate cards is getting uh, pretty cool. No bonus for Aqua, so so I doubt Evie's gonna use this. All right, so you gotta drop it from one cart length away. Bam! There we go. That is so cool. I kind of like Geoguns now. Okay, so now we gotta go on to the cards, uh, which is something that everybody likes to see, right? I'll put the card images right here. So let's see. Arachnia is a Chaos Geogon. 2 cost, 900 B power, 6 damage, and on Victor you get to draw 2 cards. Oh wow, okay. So, its stats are not too big, but it's fairly decent. Uh, it's not compared to Hyenix's stats, and I think Darkest Mood Effect has like a lot of like huge power boots, but for 2 cost early play, this is pretty good. That was Arachnia. The, uh, the other card you get is called Silk Bolt Barrier. Uh, 5 cost, 900 B power, and you get to scry the top card. Wow, okay, so... And the artwork is Silk Barrier. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, the draw 2 is definitely a good advantage and pretty uh, character, kind of characteristic for Chaos. Uh, but yeah, 2 cost, 906, that's pretty pretty good. On a, if, he, if Arachnia lands on a blue shield, he can go 1550. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, Arach... Arachnia, overall, I'd give, I'll give it an 8 out, of 10, 8 out of 10. I'm not particularly a fan of uh, this kind of design, and I don't really like what kind of creature Arachnia is. I don't even know what it is, but I'm not really a fan of it. But you know what? It's still very, it's still good looking, still very good. I have no idea why Leo will want to partner with it, but uh, whatever. It's shown in Geogun Rising that they have no choice. So what? So yeah, uh, it seems like they have like a preset kind of Geogun uh for each uh for each individual i don't know how i don't know how it works they don't explain it either yeah i think uh still i still have to reiterate i think that geogons 
uh, the toys should come with three copies of the Geogon card at least. God, I really miss international releases. But let me know what you guys think of Arachnia in the comments down below. And uh, as a special gift to you guys, tomorrow we're doing another one of these unboxing and reviews. Uh, and this time we're going to be reviewing... Talon! We're gonna be revealing Talon tomorrow, so be sure to press the subscribe button so you don't miss out on it. And just by pressing the subscribe button, you'll be supporting Baku Talk to make more awesome Bakugan content. So, thank you guys for watching, I've been Haru Ren, and thank God for Rapid Fire. Bye!